Welcome to AGK's Vinyl Life. I'm your host, Anthony K. And on this week's episode, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a very special box set right here in this box. One thing I kind of pride myself on my channel of doing is showing uh, music that I don't see anybody else showing. Uh, I like to be original. I've always said that in my videos since I started my channel. I try to bring you guys as much original content and original vinyl as I can from all sorts of genres and styles and things. Uh, I'm a, I have a very, very wide taste in music and a very, very wide uh, variety of genres in my vinyl collection and I enjoy them all equally. So on this week's video, I'm gonna be having a quick look at a genre I've never really talked about before and I don't think I've ever seen anybody talk about before. And that is music scores but not from movies or TV shows or plays. Music scores from video games. That's right, music scores from video games. Hence why you maybe got, got the idea where I'm wearing right here an Overwatch t-shirt. And Overwatch is a very popular online uh, first-person shooter uh, comp competitive game. Overwatch has been around for a good five years. And I'm wearing my Legend of Zelda hat. And I think a lot of people have, if you've never played, you've at least heard of Legend of Zelda, one of the most famous game franchises in history. And people know that I'm a big gamer. That's right, I'm a big gamer. Uh, I will game until my thumbs fall off. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting all up there in age, but I still have a passion for gaming. And um, actually, you know, I did start gaming on another channel on AGK's uh, gaming streams here on YouTube, but I've now moved to Twitch and you can find me on Twitch Thunderball 7 on Twitch where I stream video games as much as I can when I have a chance to play them um, I've had some endorsements from a couple of game companies um, So I'm currently streaming some very popular games and new games from these companies uh, such as Far Cry 6 from uh, Ubisoft Toronto among other things and uh, I enjoy gaming very much. I have been a gamer since Pong Machines in the 70s. Um, but yeah, young or old, I think at some point, a good majority of my audience has played or is playing video games. Uh, video games have come a long way since, you know, the late 70s and Pong Machines. And one of the things besides graphical imp graphic improvements and so on and so forth, and, you know, processors and the uh, just the look of the games and the complexity of games. The other thing that's become very important in games besides graphics and whatnot is the music. Uh, music scores in modern day uh, video games are e extremely complex. There's soundtracks, music game soundtracks I put next to some of the greatest you know, movie soundtracks in history and all the Star Wars and, and whatnot. Uh, there are some incredible game soundtracks and people overlook the genre. I'm sure, yeah, maybe you're not a gamer. You can't, you know, maybe you can't identify with the with the music. Uh, me, I can identify because I play the games, I hear the music. M music in gaming has become a very integral part of a really good video game because it, video games have become so uh, such an immersive immersive experience, taking you on fabulous, you know, fabulous adventures that the music itself is a key element in games, and the music is not shoddily put together. Uh, it's complex music orchestrated by, you know, m major famous orchestras uh, conducted by famous conductors. It's, it's serious business, uh, modern game music. And there is some absolutely spectacular game music out there. And I've got a couple of samples I just brought up here. I mean, back in the day, you know, some of you older older vinyl community members who maybe played the Super NES or the Nint original Nintendo. You, you remember that MIDI music, that little electronic MIDI music that used to go along with those 8-bit games. Well, music has come a long way from those days of the little 8-bit music that's played along with those games. And I'm just going to show you a couple, a couple of very recent uh, things I've gotten on vinyl and CD. Uh, from games that, that I think are absolutely spectacular. Uh, these, these, these soundtracks or scores or whatever you want to call them, they can be listened to. Stand, you don't need to be playing a game or anything. They stand alone. 
You can listen to them alone without playing a game. They are worthy of actually sitting down and listening to. They are they take you on, on a wonderful journey through the progression of the music. They are incredible. The music cues are incredible. The themes are incredible. There's a lot of passion that goes into making video game music nowadays. Uh, so here's a couple of quick samples I'm going to show you. Uh, this is one I picked up a couple of years ago. And this is from Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, and it's a song called Face My Fears. And this is a, I guess you would call it an EP that was released a couple of years ago. by, And the music is by Hikaru Utada. Face My Fears. And that's an EP music from Kingdom Hearts. The Kingdom Hearts series of video games. Wonderful video games made by Square Enix in cooperation with Disney. So they are RPGs for people, people that don't know what an RPG is in the gaming world. It means role-playing games, meaning you take a, a pile of adventurers out and explore the lands and fight monsters and, and loot uh, treasure chests and raid dungeons and save the princess and all that jazz and just defeat the evil emperor and just kill the dragons and all that jazz. Uh, Kingdom Hearts marries famous Disney characters with the world of Japanese RPG, uh, anime Japanese RPG characters. And the, this music here, this EP, is absolutely gorgeous to listen to. Vocal songs and some instrumental pieces on this one. Just an example of great uh, game music on vinyl. Another one uh, is very, very famous. Like I just mentioned, uh, The Legend of Zelda. Uh, this is Hero in Time. Hero in Time, as you can see, there is a Triforce on there. For those of you know, who know what a Triforce is, uh, famous Zelda symbol. Uh, Triforce and an ocarina, a musical instrument. And this is Hero in Time. Came out quite a few years ago, and this is actually worth a pretty penny now. If you try to, uh, you know, it's long, it's long out of print. These these sort of scores, they don't make I'll make a lot of them because it's such a kind of a niche category, niche category. But uh, this particular one uh, fetches easy one hundred and forty dollars Canadian. Uh, last time I checked on Discogs. So this is Hero in Time, and it's a two LP set performed by a full symphony orchestra and it is the music from legend of zelda the ocarina of time one of the most famous legend of zelda games in the entire franchise legend of zelda ocarina of time this is an absolutely beautiful score soundtrack it is such a great listen die cut die cut thing uh die cut die cut sleeve beautiful gold embossed inner sleeves and one is on a gorgeous green and gold splatter and as you can see there's the little life heart thing <laughs> marks the side um and then the, the second disc is of course like so also gold embossed and it is on a beautiful purple and pink splatter and of course the heart container is getting full again to mark the side numbers an absolutely wonderful listen beautiful music Highly recommend if you can find it. For all you Legend of Zelda fans, that is a spectacular piece of orchestral music. Absolutely. And the, the last one I'm going to show, or two more I'm going to show you here. The next one is, uh, this is a CD because it says I have never been able to find this on vinyl. But this is uh, from a very, very famous game from a couple of years ago by Square Enix, uh, who I just mentioned about the Kingdom Hearts series. Square Enix, this is near... Automata, near Automata, absolutely spectacular music. Comes with a booklet. It is a three CD set. A three CD set. Absolutely spectacular music with a beautiful book. Book comes with a beautiful booklet. Near Automata. I absolutely love this thing. Beautifully orchestrated. Just a wonderful, wonderful listen. And the last thing I'm going to show you here before we get to this box is this one here, which came out last year. Of course, last year came out um, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, Final Fantasy is my favorite game of all time. Originally appeared on the Nintendo Entertainment System, the 8-bit system, back in the mid-80s. The original Final Fantasy number one, legendary. People have probably heard the name. There's been Final Fantasy animated movies out there. Uh, it is probably one of the most famous uh, game role-playing game franchises 
in history. I, I think most people have probably heard of Final Fantasy. If they've not played it, at least heard of it. It is spectacular. Final Fantasy games have always set the bar um, for graphics and music and 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 game. They, they they all set a set a bar that everybody then has to try to reach. Final Fantasy games always are the best at the time at what they do. Actually, it's spectacular. So this released last year. It's very very limited, very exclusive. This is Final Fantasy VII remake. Uh, the soundtrack uh, on vinyl, and I'll just and I showed this I think last year on one video somewhere. And for those who know what it is, as you open this thing up, it is a master sword. It is the not master sword I should say. It is it is Cloud Strife's Buster Sword, and inside I'm not going to pull the discs out. Inside, you've got two picture discs, and these picture discs sound incredible. Square Enix uh, put this package together. This is not some f cheap picture disc, um, what do you want, a cash grab, uh, gimmicky thing. The music is sounds spectacular. The discs are mastered beautifully. The picture discs sound gorgeous. And what you get on here is the, the brand new... Re Brand newly performed orchest full orchestral version of the, of the Final Fantasy VII music on the first disc. Uh, and on the second disc, you get the original Final Fantasy VII that came out in the 90s. The original music all nicely remastered and put on the second disc. So you get both generations of Final Fantasy VII on this. A gorgeous, gorgeous package put together by Square en Enix. These guys just do an incredible job of... of pressing their, their, their exclusive vinyls. And that one too. I think that one too goes for a, like at least $100 now on Discogs. Um, but that is spectacular music. You sit down and listen to that and you're just transported to another world. You don't even ever even have to have played the games to enjoy the music. It is just spectacular music. So with that all being said, I've got a big box here. That's right, a big box as you can see. And this arrived... Uh, yesterday by DHL Courier and this was shipped out and this was actually came overnight from Square Enix the game company this big heavy box came from Square Enix the game company and the game company that of course makes the Final Fantasy games and the near uh, near automata games uh, the Final Fantasy games Square e Enix I pre-ordered this uh, a good six months ago and it was supposed to ship in august but delays in pressing plants and whatnot it got delayed but i got a notification a couple of days ago that it had shipped and square enix shipped this overnight to me shipped it overnight and it arrived today all the way from the u.s here to canada overnight and it arrived I've pre-scored the box because, you know, when you get to an unboxing video, uh, <laughs> people, when you're doing unboxing videos, always remember to pre-score your boxes before you film. What is in here is an exclusive box set released by Square Enix. You cannot buy this box set or this music anywhere else but the Square Enix themselves. They did not release this to record stores or Amazon or anywhere. This was a Square Enix exclusive. Very, very few copies pressed. I think the total pressing was maybe a thousand. It actually might be less than a thousand for this, this box set. Uh, it is extremely exclusive, extremely uber rare, as they say, uh, this box set. And I am, ex I am excited to get it out of here. But first on top of here, and as you can see in the box set there, We've got some packaging. So in the top of this box, that is something that Square Enix notified me that they were sending me. As I told you guys, I do get, have gotten some endorsements to do some streaming on Twitch of some games. And Square Enix, who I've had a relationship, a gaming relationship with for most of my life, being a big you know, Final Fantasy fan and, and a Square Enix fan and playing all sorts of Square Enix titles, purchasing all sort, sorts of Square Enix uh, content uh, from their website and company through the years sent me this. Thank you very much, Square Enix. I am excited to open this. This they sent me as a little gift, 
and it is one of three different variants uh, of an album that, and I got the notification that was setting uh, that they were sending me this as a gift so we're gonna tear it now and it is one of three variants of an album and oh my goodness oh my goodness this is I remember I showed you guys near automata well this year earlier this year near replicant which is actually a prequel to near automata was released this year near replicant was released this year and just as with near automata near replicant has absolutely gorgeous music absolutely gorgeous music uh, uh near Autom near replicant i think is my favorite game so far of 2021 I absolutely love playing it. The music, I just fell in love with the music on it. So when Square, en Square Enix had this on their website, uh, they said that they would give me a copy gratis. Thank you very much, Square Enix, for this. I am really uh, so happy to have this, and thank you very much. This is Near Replicant, the soundtrack. And this is one of three variant covers. And each cover had a different character of, from the game on the cover. This is the Cade cover, the Kane cover, the Kanye cover, Kane, Kane cover, near replicate, 10 plus years on vinyl. Absolutely excited, excited, excited to hear this. I can't wait to hear this. So thank you Square Enix for this gorgeous near replicant LP. And now, let's pull this big sucker out of here. So, in this box, and hopefully I don't have to stop the video to unwrap it. And we got lots of packaging here. Lots of packaging. It looks like it's taped. I can get out of there. There we go. Let's throw that on the floor. Here it is. My gosh. Finally arrived. This is Final Fantasy XIV Vinyl LP Box Set. This is super, super limited. Like I said, you can only get this from the Square Enix website. It will be sold nowhere else. It's all 180 gram vinyl. It is the music from Final Fantasy XIV, which is the online MMO game. This is a 4LP box set of absolutely spectacular music. And look at the beautiful box. Look at the gorgeous box that they have done on here. We will open it up. Uh, we've got uh, LP1 is a Realm Reborn vinyl LP, which was the original first uh, iteration of Final Fantasy XIV. Then we've got uh, the, the Heaven's Word vinyl LP, which is the music from the first expansion. Uh, it's the Stormblood vinyl LP, which is the music from the second expansion. And Shadowbringers vinyl LP, which is the music from the third expansion. And this is all gorgeously performed, all beautifully mastered. This is super rare. I can imagine the value on this thing will skyrocket. I am excited to play this. And it looks like it's in a resealable bag, which is very nice. So I'm going to open this resealable bag and show you guys what it looks like inside this box set. I am so excited to finally have this. I was getting a little worried because uh, I ordered it six months ago. They said it was shipping at the end of August. And I was just waiting and waiting and waiting for the word that it had shipped. But then they got it to me overnight. So there we have the box. Beautiful box set. This thing's pretty heavy. So I, mean, I guess four 180, four, you know, 180 gram discs. This is, you know, a thousand grams. This is like two pounds. Let's open up the box. Look at that. Even the inside cover. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that gorgeous cover. Final Fantasy 14 vinyl LP box. And inside we have record number one. And they and I remember when I seen when I ordered this, uh, all the artwork inside was done for this LP. Each of the four paintings in here were done exclusively for this LP. They've, it's not like they took these pictures from anywhere else. Uh, 
They were done exclusively for each LP. So here is LP number one, a Rel Realm Reborn vinyl LP, a Realm Reborn. Look at that absolutely gorgeous artwork, beautiful quality cardboard. And then inside we have the actual LP, clearly 180 gram vinyl. And uh, also in here, I guess is a credit sheet. Yeah, also in here, a credit sheet. And there's uh, some passcodes on the back, so I won't show you that. I guess these passcodes may be for digital download or something. But there's a credit sheet in there and some passcodes, uh, which I suspect are probably digital download. I won't pull the other out records out to save time. But there's LP number one. LP number two, Heaven's Word vinyl LP. Once again, some absolutely stunning artwork. LP number two, and once again, it too has a credit sheet and codes. LP number three, which is Stormblood. There we have it. LP number three, Stormblood. Beautiful artwork. And last but not least, LP number four, Shadowbringers vinyl LP. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous and they all once again have a credit sheet or and maybe some lyric or something you know credit sheet and download code and then there's something else here and what is this it even comes check that out it even comes with a stand for you to stand the box set up or the lps up i guess it's the yeah, that little indent it's a stand so if you want to display the lps it actually comes with an lp stand as well. How cool is that? That is a first. So there you have it. Super, super limited. Only available from the Square Enix website. Uh, it'll be the only place you fi can find it and they will sell out. Anybody that loves the Final Fantasy music series, a gamer, any of you people that love gorgeous music, if I don't even know, if they, they might already be gone. But there it is. Final Fantasy 14 Vinyl LP Super Limited Box Set so happy to have that and that's my unboxing but i do have one bonus thing in today's video i'm going to show you i got another package in the mail and this is from my good friend david michael otherwise known as naz nomad this is vclt so i thought i'd just tack this on to the end of this video uh, to give a big thank you to naz nomad uh, david michael my good friend sent me a little bit of vclt uh, and i'm just going to quickly pull them out I've already seen what's in here, so. But I'm going to show you guys what was in this little thing. Just a little something he sent my way. Uh, he's such a good friend. Uh, beautiful VCLT. And Naz always sends me, when he sent, when Naz Nomad sends me VCLT, I'm always blown away. The, the things he finds and sends me, I'm just so, so thrilled to have. Thank you so much, David. Uh, you're, you're a good friend. And in this box that he sent me, uh, first of all, there's an original, looks like this is from 2010, actually. This is a 2010 Alice Cooper School's Out patch. I got to sew that onto something. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, David, you always surprise me with crazy stuff. We have uh, a Britney, people know me, Britney Spears, I am a slave for you. Maxi single, CD, maxi single, Britney Spears, I'm a slave for you, CD, maxi single. Uh, this one was for my daughter. I'm just going to quickly show that this he actually sent for my daughter. My daughter, of course, is getting into the alternative music and and a little bit of the rock and alternative. And she's an Arctic Monkeys fan. So, David, thank you for this. Uh, my daughter will be sending you a thank you note. This is the Arctic Monkeys. And there, what's this one called? AM or something? Yeah, Arctic Monkeys AM album. Uh, which David sent a beautiful copy of for my daughter. Thank you very much, David. She will absolutely love this. 
And the last two things in the box just, just blew my mind completely. Thank you, David, for these. Everybody knows I'm a huge golden earring fan. And David sent me this golden earring, seven inch, original seven inch single of When the Lady Smiles, which of course I have a, other versions of, and I have, even have a seven inch version. But this, what's special about this particular version is the B side. On the B side of this is a song called Orwell's Year, which I have never heard before. I've never heard of before. And I have pretty much everything Golden Earring ever released. Uh, and I've never heard of this. So I am absolutely thrilled to have this, uh, mainly for the B side, Orwell's Year. I'm I haven't had a chance to spin it yet. The box just came yesterday. But I am super excited to hear a new Golden Earring song that I've never heard before. Orwell's Year. Thank you, David Michael, for that. And then the last but not least, David, 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 you're too good to me. Thank you for this. People know I'm a big, pretty reckless fan. In fact, I was talking about him a couple videos ago when I was talking about my Living Dead Girl album. Uh, pretty Reckless, of course, their new album is up for, is right now still my pick as best album of the year for me. It could very well be my number one new release album of this year, Pretty Reckless. I have followed them from their from the beginning. The Light Me Up album, uh, all through her albums. I have their entire discography. Absolutely love T Taylor Monison and the Pretty Reckless. Such a great 2010s rock band. And like I said, the new album, Death by Rock and Roll. Fantastic. But David surprised me with this. I did not know this was coming. This is the Pretty Reckless and their original EP. This is the only thing I never owned um, pretty much from the Pretty Reckless. I have their four albums, the first, their, their second, third, and of course their new one, fourth album, are all on vinyl. The first album has never been released on vinyl. It's only on CD, Light Me Up, which I have. But before Light Me Up in 2010 or 11, there was this, the the, the Pretty Reckless EP. This pre prequeled their first album. Uh, a couple, few of the songs on this EP would later appear on their first album, but there's a couple songs on here that are absolutely exclusive to this EP. And so um, this basically completes my Pretty Reckless collection right here. This completes my Pretty Reckless collection with the Pretty Reckless EP. I'll just give you a little shot of a little poster inside. This completes my Pretty Reckless collection, but not only was I thrilled to, to get this from, from David, but when I turned it over, I was absolutely floored as it is autographed by the entire band. All four members, the guitarist, the bassist, the drums, and Miss Taylor Monison herself right here. Autographed by the entire Pretty Reckless band. Thank you, David Michael. I will cherish this CD. It will go in my special section where I keep autographed things and collector's items. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that's it. That's all. Hope you enjoyed this video as always. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up always make people feel good. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, and turn that notification bell on. So you don't miss any of my videos. I try, try to drop a video like this every week. Uh, comments welcome down below. I always reply to all my comments. Comments are the best way to make a channel better. And last but not least, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, follow my Instagram, which is at A-G-K underscore Lifetime of Vinyl, where I try to post my spin of the day every day, among other things. That's it. That's all. I hope you enjoyed this this look at video game music sound scores and the uh, unboxing of this absolutely gorgeous box set. And of course, the thank yous to David Michael for the, the wonderful VZLT. You're too good to me, my friend. And I'm going to see you guys all very soon in my next video. And as I always say, rock and roll!